Hey guys, welcome to part two of your Elements of Art unit. Remember last week I introduced you to what the elements are, and then we started our first project. So if you will remember, there are seven elements of art. I'd like you to think right now if you can name at least four of them. See if you can do it. I'll give you 10 seconds to see if you can list four of them and go. So let's see how you did. Ready? Elements of art, they're gonna appear at the bottom. Our elements of art is what makes up all art. They are building blocks of how do we create art. So our first one is line. Now there's no specific order necessarily, just see if you got any of them right. Next we have shape. This could be shapes just like triangles, squares, and circles, or just kind of blob shapes, and those are called more organic shapes. Next we have color. Next year in fourth grade, we will spend an entire unit learning about the color wheel and everything you can do with color. Space. Space is a harder one to describe, but basically space is how far apart you put different things in your art project. Then texture. Texture is the one we're focusing on right now with creating the fur of our animal. Value. Value is how dark or light something is. And we saw value when, we, when I showed you how to do the ears of our bunny. And finally, form. Form is a 3D shape, so making things look more realistic, a lot of times using value to do it. So, last week we drew and started adding the texture to our rabbit. You may have drawn an other animal, which is totally fine. But this is what mine looks like so far. So you can see I have the beautiful, adorable little face of my rabbit. I also have the ears. If you look really closely, you can see I have that little circle around the face of my bunny. That's really important, okay? So I'm gonna show you how we're gonna add the texture on the face today, and then afterwards I'm gonna show you how we can make some really fun glasses to put on your bunny to make him very stylish. So let's get started. So welcome back. Make sure you have grabbed your black marker. If you don't have a black marker, any color marker will be fine. You could have a multicolored rabbit, that's totally fine. The first thing we're going to do today is we're going to start with this nose area, okay? We drew a circle around here so we know kind of the direction we want the fur to go. Typically within a rabbit, it has fur that comes out from the nose area, also out from the eyes, and then the rest of it kind of goes up and down. So we're going to start with the nose area, just drawing some little lines right around it. Okay, next we're going to draw another group of little lines also coming out from that middle area. I'm going to make these a tiny bit bigger. Try to make it so they don't touch the lines that you drew under it. Okay, now I may draw one more line around here, or you could just stop. I'm next going to do the eyes. I'm going to do the same thing around the eyes, where the fur comes out from the eye. I'm going to do the same thing over here. I'm going to do a second circle around here. And a second circle around here. Okay, and I may, no, I think I'm gonna stop there. Okay, so now I'm gonna start doing my fur coming down. I'm gonna start in the middle of my eyes. And then I'm gonna start going down and out. 
I don't know if you saw that, but my cat was right there. <laughs> Cats typically love bunnies. They love to chase them. Okay, so see how I have this so far? We're doing well so far. We're creating a really cool textured bunny. So let's keep going. Okay, see how I have it like here? Okay, so I keep going. Now I'm gonna start near the top of the head. I'm gonna make some of these hairs a little bit longer. Now I'm going to fill in that middle space. Okay, coming down. See how I'm doing one side first and then I will do my other side. Now I'm going to complete the other side. Continuing, see how this does take quite a while, which this is the reason that this is a two week project. Now near the bottom can get a little tricky because I don't want it to go on my table, but I also just don't want to have these super tiny little lines. So if you put a scrap piece of paper under it, then you can go right off the edge without worrying about drawing on your table. And then I'll fill these in here. Okay, so now I have my bunny. I could also color in the nose a little bit. I could add a little bit of texture to it if I want to. I'm just gonna draw a couple little lines. Okay, and now I have my bunny. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to get a colored paper, a pair of scissors, and some glue. I'm gonna show you how to make the eye, or the glasses. If you don't want glasses, you can end now, or you could decorate the background in some way. So I'm ready to make my glasses. I have my adorable little bunny right here. The first thing I'm going to do is with a colored piece of paper, I only need a strip of it. So make sure the strip is big enough that it covers the bunny's eyes completely and goes almost to the edge of the paper, okay? The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fold this strip of paper in half because I want both sides to be perfectly the same. I can then take a pencil and I can draw out what I want them to look like, or I can just try to freehand it, okay? So I'm gonna take a pencil, I'm gonna show you the shape of my glasses. When drawing my glasses, I wanna put it right above where they're going to be, just to make sure that I'm getting the right shape. So I'm gonna start with, I'm gonna use a marker so you can see it. I'm gonna start with the line that will be in the middle, and then I'm going to go outward, and up. I'm going to make them a little pointy at the edge. Okay. I also want to make sure that the hole where I'm going to cut out in the glasses lines up where my eye of the bunny is. I'm going to do mine just like this. Now, because it's folded in half, when I cut this, 
I will have two sides that are perfectly the same. Just like this, okay? But as you can see, there's no hole in them yet. In order to cut the hole, what I'm going to do is while my paper is folded, I'm going to fold this slightly over, put a little cut into it so I can stick my scissors in here, and then I can cut out my shape. Just like that. And now, have my adorable glasses for my bunny. So I can take some glue now and put this right here and stick them on. And now I have a very stylish bunny. So feel free to color the background. You could make it with markers. You could paint the background. You could do it however you want. It is up to you to make your project unique. So I hope you enjoyed this activity and we'll find out what our next element is next week.